Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Queer Edge with Jackie Jet. We're back for yet another season of riddling induced debauchery. I got to tell you this, the fine, fine folks at QTN, you know, the folks that contractually yet reluctantly bring you this show day after day after day after day. Anyway, they came to visit me during my recent stay, or my recent yearly holiday visit, I should say, at the Betty Ford Center. And Frank Olson, our executive producer, he said to me, Jack, wouldn't it be nice to add someone to your show that has, say, something like a uh, personality? And you know, gosh darn it, I never really thought of that. The thought had never occurred to me. So what we did was we auditioned like 85 male porn stars, and then we decided to get down to business of finding someone for the job. Well, Maria Osmond obviously had been jonesing for the gig for a very long time. However, she had just given birth at this time to her 23rd child and is now in a permanent state of postpartum depression. And we know, we all know this, that a depressed Mormon with a buttload of kids does not make for happy TV time. No, it doesn't. I just really, I wanted someone smart, someone that could help me with the, with the big words. And I mean, we even saw everyone who had ever appeared on American Idol. And I know you're not going to believe me, but this is true. They all have really bad body odor. And then, a friend of mine suggested Sandra Bernhardt. She gives me fever. Yeah. And you know, she'd been on the show before, and I remember thinking, yeah, 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 she's a groovy chick. She has that certain je ne sais quoi, 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 quoi. Yeah, I love that. And then my friend tells me, my friend tells me that she's currently starring in an off-Broadway production of Oklahoma as Aunt Eller. Yeah. So we rush off to the Big Apple and sure as shit, there sat Sandy Bernhard churning butter and singing about Jews in the cornfield. <laughs> and after the show, I came right up to Sandra and I said, honey, 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 you must come to, her, to Burbank and you've got to help me host this Queer Ed show. I mean, you can sit there and you can be bitchy and never have to pretend to butter churn again. And she was cool with all of that. And then suddenly, suddenly, she takes a diva turn. And this whole diva takes over. She demanded, demanded a wardrobe that is exclusively Jacqueline Smith. She demanded no bacon frying in her dressing room. What's up with that? All makeup, she insisted, must be by Mary Kay. And that she must be allowed to sell it outside her dressing room. And she would only travel on a bus where she could sit at the back. And I was like, Sandy, what is the diva word with this? And she looked at me and she said two words, Rosa Parks. And I thought, smart. That comes from being smart. You know, another great thing about Sandra Bernhardt and having her on this show is she likes the gays. And the gays, they like her. And Sandra likes entertaining the gays because the gays are rich. Sandra's not down with the poor. But really, who is? So Miss Bernhardt, she's going to be with us for the next several weeks, and she's going to be singing and talking the funny talk and dancing and being catty and witty all at the same time. But she will not, I repeat, will not be churning any butter on this show. So tonight, we're going to be getting inside of Sandra's head. It's going to be fun. And speaking of head, the Barbarellas are back with us for another season. They are here. They are here in the hizzle of the shizzle. How pathetic is it for an aging homo TV host to be talking street talk? It does not work. No, it does not. We also have the band Romac and the Space Pirates. We have Mr. Rob Williams with news from the 
very edge. And ladies and germicides, yes, we have Sandra freaking Bernhard. Yes. yes, yes, thank you, Jesus. And assuming she passes her drug test, she will be with us for the next several weeks. And Mr. Mitch Kaplan will join Sandra for a song of joy and mirth in spreading the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the Lord did say, the Lord did say to me, He said, if it ain't broke, then break it! Because we queer edgers, we are a go. had the happiest of all holidays. This is our first show of the new queer year. And I got to tell you this, you know, Jackie Inks has, uh, uh, who's going to be with us sporadically for the next few weeks. Jackie Inks, I must tell you, has been promoted. She is going to be, well, she is developing a new program for the QTN. And by developing a new program, I mean she's basically in Palm Springs at a resort drinking uh, martinis, and I think they're Grey Goose martinis, straight up, no olives. She's downing them one right after another and saying things like, oh, transsexual midget on parade, that's a good idea for a show. That's a good idea. And that's what in development means here in Hollywood. So, but she'll be coming back to see us from time to time. In the mean, mean, mean time, I am so excited to have this chick back on the show. She just finished touring with Cindy Lauper, and now her new album, Gems of Min Mystery, is getting rave reviews. And by the way, did I mention that she's my bestest friend in the whole wide world, and I love her dearly. She's funky and she's talented. She is Miss Sandra Bernhardt. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm only going to call it her bank from now on. Juicy Couture, Juicy Couture, but not Juicy Couture like the cheap line, the new line of juice, for head to toe Juicy Couture. See, now you're already talking above my head. You're talking that fashion talk. Well, it's, there's so little to be spoken about it, especially after the Golden Globes Yeah, I want to talk to you about that because oh, what am child. I missing? What is, what is the queer gene, Sandra, that I'm missing that I watch those shows and don't give a rat's ass what you know those what? women are You're, wearing? You know what? It's the, you have the new queer gene. Which the is? The smart gene. The gene that says I'm a spiritual person tapped into the universe, a caring person who doesn't need to be cloaked in a, a, a gown or a wardrobe. You'd be just as happy seeing someone walk naked through a field. Because you're yes. relating to their soul. Yes. And you don't yes. need to like, you know, connect I, with the... That's the, a very spiritual way of saying, I, I would rather fabrics. see someone nude. Yeah. That's cheap a fabrics of life. <laughs> that we did you watch, actually, did you watch all of the... Uh, the awards I, last night? I didn't watch all of the awards. I was exhausted. I did a gig in Vegas on mm -hmm. Saturday night. It was a private gig mm -hmm. for a very wealthy investor. He flew me out. He flew. He has two private jets. He flew a bunch of folks in to the Palms Hotel. I hadn't been in Vegas for eight years. I mean, every time I go to Vegas, it's unrecognizable. Don't forget, I went as a child with my family. And Vegas were some of my happiest times as a kid. We went on vacations to Vegas and... Oh, God, I wanted to see Barbara Streisand. She was doing one of her makeup dates. And oh, yeah, yeah, right. But, you know, my father, he would never pull any strings. So we ended up seeing um, 
Diane Carroll at the Sands. That's pretty cool, though. Um, with um, my dear friends uh, Stiller and Mara opened doing uh, in the day in uh -huh. the day like '68 doing little funny crazy uh, sketches. That is really cool. I know. Listen, we got sidetracked. Okay, but Point here, so being, now we can. I, so now we're. I was Hollywood. exhausted. Uh huh. Here was the thing. You have a right to be exhausted. You know why? Because it not only was the uh, Golden Globes, it was Martin Luther King's birthday. Well, that's what I was really tapped into. Yeah, I was more tapped into that. That's why I was, for my part of it, was hoping that only black people would win. Well, because I think that was well, part of the dream. The wonderful lady from Lackawanna Blues did win, who Absolutely. my manager manages. I can't. I, I always want to call her Essa Pekka Solomon, but that's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, she's suddenly conducting the L.A. Philharmonic, but no, her name. What is her name? She's lovely. She's a very talented. Lady. Anyway, I watched the um, E red carpet. Oh, and I gotta say, I've been friends with them. Um, Isaac Mizrahi for a long time. Yes, I'm going to ask you. And about I that. really am terribly concerned for his, you know, future. Well, why do you After say seeing that? Him, I didn't see him, but well, it I was, like his new show. Well, I was on his new show. Uh -huh. I was supposed to be the uh, the first guest, and they bumped me to the last. And they had uh, a country western singer on, and and uh, uh, Leanne <laughs> Womack was the the lead guest, <laughs> making a uh, jean jacket with lace doilies. Bedazzling. Yeah, she was bedazzling a jean jacket. Yeah, put Sandra Bernhardt yeah. on last. Do you have to take a quick little break? Yeah, no, we're, uh, we are going to go news. to the news. We've got to go to the news, and hopefully he has something to say either about Martin Luther King or perhaps something about Oprah Winfrey being able to purchase a Hermes scarf on Martin Luther King's day. Because I uh, heard they stayed open all night in honor of Okra. Because that, that's, that's what Martin divine. Luther King was dreaming about. What do you say, Mr. Rob Williams? Absolutely, it's what I say. Okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the news from the edge. The White House is denying allegations that Dick Cheney drinks the blood of Democratic virgins every night. <laughs> His office, his office is saying that he has not consumed another human's blood in years and that it would be impossible to find that many Democratic virgins. <laughs> the UN has been unable to stop the gang violence disrupting the lead up to Haiti's elections. We would like to remind Haiti that nothing stops violence like a little midnight basketball. <laughs> you know, if it's about stopping gang violence, maybe we should talk to Stanley Tukey Williams. Ah, uh, no, that's right. We killed him. Never mind. <laughs> We are expected to have 300 million Americans by this October. Now, this is found by estimating that a baby is born every 8 seconds, someone dies every 12 seconds, and Angelina Jolie adopts a new baby every 31 seconds. <laughs> a stampede during the Muslim pilgrimage called the Hajj killed at least 350 people. Now, while tragic, it is believed that if you die during the Hajj, you go straight to paradise. This is very similar to the belief that if you get gored during the running of the bulls in Pamplona, <laughs> you are so going to get laid that night. <laughs> Walmart is being forced to spend more on their employee health care. And personally speaking, after a number of frightening encounters with Walmart greeters, I hope they begin with full dental. Yesterday was the new, nothing. Yesterday was the new year on the Mayan calendar, and thousands of Mexicans gathered around some ruins in a cornfield near Oaxaca to celebrate. At the stroke of midnight, the moon shot a focused beam of light through a hole in the temple wall, which traveled across the Americas until it bore a hole right through Dick Clark's skull. A celestial occurrence that comes around once every 200 years. Now the clock on the wall tells me that it's been 15 minutes, and so we are obligated to make some sort of reference to Broke Back Mountain. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal, it's time for you to get out of that hat and into my heart. <laughs> President Bush went to New Orleans for about 15 minutes this last Thursday. After a fast drive through an undamaged wealthy part of the city, he arrived at the convention center and said that from what he saw, New Orleans now reminds him of, quote, the city I used to come to visit. We assume that means he didn't see any black people, but was able to spot the alley where in 1978 he had sex with a tranny hooker while out of his mind on blow. <laughs> As, <laughs> as most of you in the U.S. watching know, the Senate hearings for our latest Supreme Court nominee are over. But for any of our Canadian and or Australian viewers who weren't glued to CNN like we were, here's a recap of the single most important moment. Judge Alito 
Are you a closet racist? <laughs> no, sir. I am not. I didn't think you were. And I have scores and scores of testimonials saying exactly that. That's it. It's sad when puppets cry. Now, any implication that Samuel Alito and his wife are puppets is just an accident of a limited budget. We would have much preferred to have done that with CGI, but we're a puppet sort of show. Not even marionettes, but paper bag puppets. I'm Rob Williams. That's the news from The Edge. Stay tuned with more Queer Edge with Jackie Jett and Sandra Bernhardt after this. Chick, chick, chick. Yeah, I'm good. Run it. <laughs> You're good. Punchline. Huh? Got nothing. A joke that made a vague connection to the Chocolate City comment? Zero. The stem cell breakfast cereal cocoa stems? Flatlined them. And the Walmart dental plan? Nothing but crickets. And the winner is? Let's see. It's David DeAngelis and Cocoa Stems! I think that's their CD. Okay. just got better Jesus and, and I tighter. mean to tell you I'm so glad I'm back and the girls are still here I adore them well first of all before you got hired they were the ultimate approval we had to go well, to them and I'm we I'm so glad they are so chic and yeah. so sweet and no I mean no ass kissing just real yeah they are just I mean my real. ass kissed uh-huh Aren't they sweet? They're the sweetest. They're and just you know adorable. At the end of the scary. night, those wigs are off. I don't know what. And they're just like these plain little girls. But here's all the scary dressed thing. down. Is that, you know, the producers keep saying, we need to let them talk more. We need to let. But they're so smart, Sandra. I'm so fearful that if I let them start talking, it's going to be the Barbarella show. Well, it's also going to create the second feminist revolution. Yeah. 
So, Which would I mean, I rather idea. think of them just as like Jack's bitches. I that know, is they're bad. I, yeah. They're badass. They're so but, you cute. know, speaking of bitches, <laughs> this is Sandra Bernhard getting down and dirty with Sandra Bernhard. And can we just show this for a second? Because I read this article, Sandra. Was it I good? wasn't down. I didn't think it was down and dirty. No, well, you know they got. I think they've got to say that so people pick up the magazine. It's a new little gay rag. Uh huh. God bless, and I think they're trying to you know reach out and help people out a little bit. I think it's cool. It's very Is sweet. It mainly, mainly for the chicks. I have no idea. Okay. okay. I, I don't just, know. But here's another one. Now. now, can we get a close up of this? Because it says on the cover is that here. Tom Ford. No, it says Bruce Valanche takes it off. Uh, That's what it says. Right there. Bruce Valanche takes it off. Now, honey, have you ever known Bruce to look like this? Honey, not in his wildest dreams. No. <laughs> Ble yeah. Bless his little one liner heart. I know. Uh, honey, you know, every time they try to get, like, you know, they have me on some show, we can get Bruce Valanche to write your lines. I'm like, oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Verledge wrote us one line for our show, uh, and it was very unforgettable, I must uh, say. What was he, it? I can't even remember it now. He, I begged him, he came on the show, and I said, you know, the only reason that you're here is to write us a line, and that we might get chuckles for days out of, and uh, it, it was not there. He's not super supportive, uh, anyway. But you know what? What is supportive is people who go to porn uh, exhibits. Last year... I attended the Adult Video News Awards, and it was, it, to be honest with you, Sandra, it was a little bit, too, a little too much breastage for me. You know, uh, the, you, you know, for me, there's never enough penis, because if I want to go to a, a porn show or a porn-esque experience, I, see, I can look at my breasts in the mirror and be yeah. totally satisfied. Or my girlfriends, but I want to see a nice penis. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, okay. Can I just get, can we do a little high five on that? Yeah. You know, it's I, fun. It's that. fun to see a yeah. penis from afar. But let's go. Rob Williams was there, and God knows he was probably in search of everything, including peanut. Recently went to the Video Expo in Las Vegas. He documented this his trip. Fun. Let's, that means you, and that means yeah. me, uh -huh. take a look. We're here at the Avian Adult Entertainment Expo at the Venetian. Let's go on down to the floor and meet some of these adult entertainment superstars. There's 2,400 porn stars here. Bit of a wild look there, the, uh, the horns. It's uh, yeah. almost demonic, a demonic biker, but... <laughs> <laughs> now this, could it be more advanced? I mean, if this is... Surely, by that point, this must be like bumping your sternum at this point. I mean, I, I, is that even possible? Hang guys, an innovative new product out of the Amazon that helps to de um, and desensitize your throat. Ah, I see. Have you actually tried it yourself? Uh, not for the, some of these purposes. For like a sore throat, that, you've tried it. too much information. Oh, <laughs> don't let us cross any lines here at the sex this show. Is... Million Dollar Tranny uh, starring Hillary Skate. You yeah, gotta like that. It Run that out. Run that out. Actually flex that muscle. It's actually cramping right now. Okay, can I get a, a little shoulder rub? Thanks. Can we? Oh, yeah. That's where I store all my tension. Like your dog doesn't like the flavor of his nuts well enough already. Now it's like gravy for his nuts. Oh man. Oh man. Things are going well here at the ABN, Jack. We're having fun. We're making new friends. It's a good time. Okay. It's a tough job, man. This is the toughest job. Thank you. See, it's porn all day and party all night. Our porn all day party. Party party porn all night. Whatever, we're gonna go to some parties. Thank God, a queer in the crowd. In comes Sister Erotica Psychotica, the avant guardian of the nasty habit from the Los Angeles Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Ah, uh, you look like you're from Los Angeles. You do. Yeah, what gives that away? I don't know, there's something, there's an ambiance about it.
best things about coming to the gay parties as opposed to the straight parties is the food is so much better. They are natural. I flew a bonsai specialist in from Kyoto to train them for six months. Little wires for six months. My episode of The Swan is on next month. <laughs> Back to you, Jack. Working hard here in Vegas for you. Working hard. Now you're gonna tell me something about Ron Jeremy? Yes, I ran into him at the last year at the AVNs, and I saw him walking, and so I walked up to him and I said, Hey Ron Jeremy, Ron Jeremy, I'm Jackie Jet from the Queer Edge. Could I could I interview you? And he goes like this. Hell fucking no. Uh. Said, you know. I, I Honey, would like to be turned down by a bigger star the, than the, that. The glory days are over for Ron Jeremy. He's got some balls. Yeah, yeah. That's about it. And now. that's about it. And that's about it. Have you ever been to uh, to the Adult Video News? No, Awards? I've never been. Yeah, I, I'm going to tell you this. They are. It is a room full, and I do mean full, of the most honest people in the world. I'm sure. Of all the people I've interviewed over yes, the years, yes, I can. Porn people are honest because they have nothing they to really nothing to hide. To lose. Yeah. So, yeah. This nothing is what to lose, I do. This to is hide. what I do. You know, and and so they're very honest and they're very sincere. And some of them tend to make a lot of money, uh, but most of them tend to end up. In drug rehab. A, a so, fucking mess. Yeah, a fucking mess is right. Ah, oh, it's a Shonda for the We love fucking messes, though. Have you got one to introduce for us here? Yes, I do. Okay. Our Queer Edge musical guest today, cross retro fashion with futuristic lyrics and hard rocking sounds. This is the sound of the future. And I'm scared. Oh. Let's give it up for Romac and the Space Pirates. Yes, And the space pirates. And by the way, give, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, guys, but uh, in order to obtain a copy of this CD, one needs to go to www.romacandthespacepirates.com. Or, 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 or ratsp.net. It's easier to type. Okay. R A T. Say that again. R A T S P. 
Okay. Super cool. Oh, the cool. kids and their computers yeah. and their website. You youngins, how old are you, by the way? I'm timeless. Uh-huh, you're timeless. Uh-huh. 22. And 22. Uh-huh. The We're drummer. 21. 21. So I'm talented. older than God. You're younger than God? Younger and older. Okay. I like the drummer. He kept a nice beat. Yeah, I do too. Over the beat. Hey, are, are, just out of curiosity, are any of you of the homosexual persuasion? I am... Ow! I, I am not human. I do not like humans. I okay. Well, that's, that's the same way with Sandra. I feel the same, same way. She feels the same way. And we'll, um, we'll be right back. Thank you guys so much. That was and, and can I just say this to you? Peace, right on, keep it real. And we'll be right back after this. Take us out, guys. Take us out. One, two, three, <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. My mic was on. No, it's it's on for the if you think just keep talking. Okay. That was great. Thank you. and my little bitches looking so mm, give daddy a happy new year kiss uh, uh, I am the luckiest little bastard 
in the whole wide world, aren't I? Vixanies. Vic, Vic Vixanies. Listen, uh, welcome back, my dear career editors. My guests are Sandra Bernhard. You know, she's going to be with us for the next eight weeks. And i got to say, I'm so good excited. I luck out or what? So, listen, you can send me or Sandra an email. Go to our fan site, which is www.queeredge.tv, and send us a little love note. And speaking of love notes, <laughs> I gotta tell you, Sandra, <laughs> something. Were you sniffing honey. your hand? Uh -huh. I, I sniff a lot of things. <laughs> well, there's plenty to sniff yeah, around there's here. Yeah, there's a lot of sniffing going on here. Uh, I want, you know, in the, in the accuracy of fair accounting. Yes, darling. Uh, I want to be let you know for sure what you're getting into. Okay, thank you. And one. Because they haven't really told me. Yeah. Uh, the, there is a uh, right-wing organization called Accuracy in Media, uh, oh. which seems to be yeah. very concerned about me, Jackie Jet. Seriously? And, uh, I love it. They should be concerned. And so you, are this a is, you are a threat to society. Yeah, this is from, uh, I think it's a Fox, kind of an, uh, or some, it's a Washington, D.C. watchdog group. And I do say watchdog. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And this gentleman... Uh, Cliff Kincaid, he wrote, um, One show, Queer Edge, hosted by one Jackie Jet, takes viewers to the furthest reaches of queerdom. <gasps> Jet delves into all definitions of the word queer with his special guests, video features, and celebrity guest co-hosts. Guests have included a Buck Angel, a female-to-male transsexual porn star, and Mark Christian, the lover of Rock Hudson. Now, Mark is a friend and never appeared on the show, so that's a little inaccurate. So he is going to be on the show tomorrow that's night. That's what I heard. So we're, going to try, we're wanting to help this company be accurate. Yes, we, yeah, that's right. We're, we're at all costs. At all costs. Now, this is where I want to chat with you about something. This guy says this show, mm -hmm. this is worse than Rita Crosby's MSNBC show. This programming <laughs> poisons our culture. But most commentators are reluctant to say this. Either they're gay themselves, too liberal to care, or fearful of getting hate mail e-messages generated by stories from homosexual David Brock's Media Matters. Now, now David Brock, wasn't he the former um, Yeah, he was Republican. a right winger, and yeah, then he yeah. think he came out. He cleaned we, up his act. Do we have a, a photo of Rita uh, Cosby or Crosby? Uh, I passed by an uh, MSNBC. Yeah. Ah! See, there she what? is. I mean, bless her, but... Have you ever heard her? No, what you is know, her she, story? She sounds like, uh, like she's like Brenda Vaccaro. She's uh, got the Brenda Vaccaro yeah, voice. See, oh, God, but, my okay, girlfriend but, Sarah has done an impression of her. Yeah. That's right. So it can you see me. any similarities bet between myself well, what's her, what's and her stance? Reader? What's her stance? Oh, she talks like this, and she's really conservative, and she's... So what he's oh, saying I is, see, see. I'm the antithesis uh, to that, but just as evil in my own little way. Uh huh. What? So I want you to know that by joining our show, you could be jeopardizing. You're poisoning the the culture well, of the world. Yes, and, as I've been uh, known look, to do. See, we're going back and forth. Watch, see? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. There's a sort of weird. I do see there a, little is a little weird there similarity is a little there. Weird. Ah, oh, thank you. She is, I got to say this, in all due respect to Rita, I've never met the woman. I'm sure she's But lovely. she is far more masculine than I am. Uh, and, uh, so I can't, but then we also have, but you know, at one time, there was a time, Sandra, where I used to be attractive. I don't know if you're you aware of this. You still are gorgeous. Uh, I, I, I really, I stopped being attractive. I think it was uh, September 14th, 1983. Oh, Do hush we have up. some photos of me when I, uh, when I was just a young model thing. And this builds up to, yes, this is Jack Let's Jett. Can we go closer? Oh, yeah. yeah. Jack <laughs> Jesse. Look at that. Yeah, see what happens. And, I, and I'm wanting to show people this because I want everyone to know you may be young and attractive now, but at some point you will be ugly. <laughs> it's just a fact of life. I don't make the rules. I just enforced them. Were you them. modeling? Yes, I was a big freaking fashion model. Jesus Christ. So the, the, these are the things that happen uh, on this type of thing. Now, I want to read to you another review that came from 
That is the shocking. Gay City News. Okay. Gay City News. <laughs> and this came from a gentleman by the name of Doug Ireland. And Doug Ireland says, as the host of what's billed as QTN's avant-garde chat show, The Queer Edge, a portly 50-ish gentleman named Jackie Jett, who thinks that wearing one glove and a multicolored mohawk and repeatedly climbing on top of his desk makes him avant-garde. He said the other day, you don't have to be talented to do this show. And that is true, uh, and it takes even less talent to write about it, I might add. But, uh, but uh, and it also says that, uh, that basically it's utter mindless talk show and uh, what, watch what, what, is, watch what, is, what is Ireland's first name? His first name is Doug. And well, I, Doug, I'd love to know what Doug would like to like to have a yeah, place. Something dry, brittle. Oh my God! Please polemic of crap. Is that actually is that the him? photo of him? Yep. Oh no. <laughs> that is too bad because I was going to make fun of him. You can't. I was going to make fun of him for calling me Portly. By the way, Portly is okay because I'm taking it like, you know, there's Sir Elton John, there's Prince William, and now there's Portly Jackie Jet. Pleasure to meet you. And, 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 and chubby Doug Ireland. Yeah. Portly Ireland. You, know, you know what? Doug Ireland is pro probably not unlike um, the protagonist of um, Confederacy of Dunces. Yeah. yeah. Well, the you whole know, thing he's is... He's sitting around and just like writing about everything and like bitching and moaning. The thing is, I do like the sound of Portly Ignatius Jackie Ignatius J. J. Riley. In fact, I'd like you to refer to me now as, as the Portly. Portly Jackie. When you introduce me, this is Port. Have you met Portly Jackie Jet? When I make <laughs> dinner reservations, I'm going to make them like who, that. Who was your modeling agent? Oh, I had so I had several of them, but I do want to say this: I was going to make fun of him, but obviously now looking at him, I see that he has you know Down what? syndrome. There's a, there's a <laughs> and I don't. And I, God knows, I don't want to make fun of the for, retard. There's a word we need to, to to share with him: Rachmanis. Rachmanis. Have Rachmanis on his. So uh, all you know, all I can say is. One tin soldier rides away, and we'll be right back after this. Yay! We love you, Dad! We love you, Dad, girl! Do, 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 check, check, do, 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 do. Got it, Mike. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to do, do, do. Okay, so she's a mother and an activist and a comedian and a singer. Is there anything this chick can't do? Performing a song for us today, the lovely and talented My Child, Sandra Bernard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been cordially invited to stay and play with you. Jackie Chan, my dear friend, it was my New Year's prayer to come again. And here I am, so blessed, you put me to the test. I'll try to do my best and then the rest will be revealed tonight. Oh dear Jackie, I don't know. I
Here I go again Here I go again Here I go again Here I go again Come over here. Come on, Richie. Come sit next to Jesus. Come join us. Dude. You know, Sandra, I did want to tell you, you know, they wanted to get some kind of special guest for you, and, and they were trying to get someone like Roseanne Barr or someone, you know, for your first week here. And I said, no one except Jesus. For you. I am so glad. He is the king well, of the Jews. Now that he's on the, uh, what's that fabulous new show that he's on? Yeah, he's got a new show. Right, with Aiden Quinn. That yeah, dude's good. He's a, yeah. He's Marshall Talk. He's a good looking dude, isn't he? Yeah. He's so oh, cute. Man, They're I so like cute together. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're good looking too, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's a, yeah. Who knew playing and by the way, he is a great yeah. carpenter, Mitch. Just oh, the way man, you need anything. If you need yeah, some things done around the house, there's your man, oh, by the way. Okay, I want to talk about this because you and Mitch, anyone who's ever been to see a Sandra Bernhardt show, has always noticed little Mitch over there doing tickling his the thing, ivories. tickling the ivories. And so you guys have been together for like eighty-five. We started working eighty-five together. years. <laughs> oh, Jesus beautiful. is here. We yeah. feel like mere children. <laughs> right. 1985. Okay, so mid eighties. What do you What do you attribute? The, this getting along. We're soulmates. Uh huh. Because you're you're creative soulmates yes. as well as buddies. Yes. Right. We have so much fun. Yeah. We've gone on so many international journeys. We have. I mean, don't ask some of the insanity. Isn't that so important when you're doing that much running around and you're doing and you're under such stress to have someone there Who that look can you. look you in the eye and go, "Is this bullshit or what?" Totally. Yeah. Totally. And how many times over the course of since 1985 have you guys looked at each other and went? This is bullshit. This is some bullshit. <laughs> this is a bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> All right, well, listen, we're gonna say we're gonna be right back after this message. Uh, is it is it almost time for what have we learned? I barely feel like we've just gotten started. Isn't that good though? That's good. That's a good. That's thing. good thing. Okay, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Whatever they're selling, please buy it. Or or in lieu of that, just send Sandra and I the cash straight up. There you go. Yeah. We'll be right back after this.
Oh, sweet. Ah, oh, wow. My, my heart is so warm from this, from this evening of, of spending time uh, with my friends and you, Jesus, who was, will always be my friend in some yeah. uh, love-hate relationship that we have. And my chicks I love so dearly. And you, Romax, Romac, 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 you, Romac. you are flawless in your style and in your grace and in your integrity. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Yeah. I don't know what I meant uh, at all. <laughs> but uh, this is the part of the show where we find out what have we learned today? Because th this show is about learning and learning and learning. It is Sesame Street on Acid. And we're going to start with you, Mr. Rowe. What have you learned today? Well, you know, today I learned something very important. I learned Jesus isn't so bad. I mean, I was kind of afraid of him. Yeah. As a kid, I mean, you know, you're kind of scary. Yeah, uh, a little bit. Dude. But you know, he's he's pretty cool. Yeah, I've also, cool. yeah, I, I've also learned that my band, uh -huh. you know, Romac and the Space Pirates, we have a new record called "The Universe Is Too Small." See, I didn't really learn this; I already knew this. And we're releasing it February fourth, Santa Ana. So I'd love for you guys to all come out at the Soul Art Cafe. Cool, yes. dude, right on. You want us to come out? Yeah, come, come okay. to the we'll party. It should be a fun show. Yeah. I mean, I've been out for a while. Jesus, what's up? What's the word? Oh, man, I've learned so much on this show today. I'm baked, but you guys have still taught me quite a bit. I learned, I learned that musically these guys rock, and these guys rock, and she rocks. It's, it's been a very musical show. But mostly, dude, I learned that you're a handsome dude, man. Yeah, you're really uh, a good-looking man. I, yeah. And thank you, Jesus. And I used to be even better looking. Mitch, what have you learned? Well, I see that you brought your pussy to the show. Yeah, yeah, always. I don't, don't go any place without it. Why should I? <laughs> Dairy sweet. Yeah. Sandra. I don't need that. I already have a mic. Thank you, baby. What have I learned today? I've learned that I'm one of the most blessed people I know to get to come back and spend time with you in her bank. <laughs> <laughs> and just love you and be here with you. To Gemini's. I know, and I'm loving your love. I'm loving your love. And we're going to have a great time. And, and you know, we're going to set goals. And I bet, I bet Sandra and I together over the next eight weeks can not only create world peace, but we can create peace on all the planets. Thank you. I think we Intergalactic can, peace. Intergalactic peace. That's my So good night, everyone. Come see us. You can come check us out. Check out our fan site, Queer, uh, QueerEdge.tv. Anyway, right now, check out our band. Take us out. Good night, everybody.
sexist. It's a very weird thing. We'll get Chrissy over here sometime with a vegetarian in the Oh, yeah, I always think it's a Satan thing. I smell that.